today we will see two benign self limited newborn rash those are erythematoxigum and neonatal pustular melanosis erythematoxigum is a benign self limited evanescent eruption that occurs in approximately 50% of full term infants this is less common in preterm or premature infants the lesions are fine yellow white 1 to 2 mm papules or pustules with a surrounding erythematous flare at times blotchy erythema is the only manifestation lesions might disperse or numerous and either clustered in several sites or widely dispersed over much of the body surface but the palms and the soles are usually spare peak incidence occurs on the second day of life but new lesions may erupt during the first few days as the rash waxes and wanes Eosinophils can be demonstrated in the right stained smears of the interlesional contents, but cultures are sterile. The cause of retema toxicum is unknown, and it is characterized by infiltrate of eosinophils and the absence of organism on stained smear that differentiate it from other differential diagnoses. The course is brief, three to seven days, and the lesions generally resolve without pigmentation. No therapy is required. The second is transient neonatal pustular melanosis. Pustular melanosis is a transient, benign, self-limited dermatosis of unknown etiology. It is characterized by three types of lesions. First, evanescent superficial pustules, then rupture pustules with collarate of fine scale at times with a central hyperpigmented macule and hyperpigmented macules finally. Lesions are present at birth and one or all types of lesion may be found in profuse or sparse distribution. Pustules represent the early phase of the disorder and the macules the late phase. The pustular phase rarely lasts more than 2-3 days and hyperpigmented macules may persist for as long as 3 months. Sites of predilection are the anterior neck, forehead and the lower back. Although the scalp, trunk, limbs and palms and the soles might be affected, but the anterior neck, forehead, and lower back are the most common site. The active phase shows an intracorneal or subcorneal pustule filled with polymorphonucular leukocytes. In this case, it is polymorphonucular leukocyte, whereas retematoxicum is eosinophil. The macules are characterized only by increased melanization of epidermal cells, and in this case also, no therapy is required. Thank you for watching.